the Queen, 91, boarded the train at King's Lynn in Norfolk on Wednesday. The monarch is returning to London after spending Christmas at Sandringham. She opted for a vibrant orange coat and matching silk headscarf for the journey. She spent the festive season at Sandringham, surrounded by visiting friends and family. But today the Queen returned to London as the traditional winter break came to an end. The 91-year-old monarch looked in good spirits as she boarded the train at King's Lynn, in Norfolk. She donned a vibrant orange coat and dress for the occasion, accessorising with a brightly patterned headscarf, and teaming the outfit with a black patent handbag and matching shoes. The coat, in one of spring's most popular shades, also featured stylish furry cuffs. Train passengers took out their camera phones to snap a picture of the monarch as she crossed the platform, chatting amiably with a member of station staff. A policeman was on guard as the Queen boarded the carriage to begin her trip home. The one-hour, 45-minute journey will take her into King's Cross. The Queen will spend spring between her residences in South England before heading to Balmoral, in Aberdeenshire, for the summer. The monarch has kept a low profile over the festive season, only being seen when she attended church with Prince Philip. 96. However their children and grandchildren have been busy with a packed schedule of royal duties. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge last week carried out a four-day tour of Scandinavia at the request of the Commonwealth Office, visiting the royal families of Sweden and Norway. Meanwhile Prince Harry, 33, and his fiancée Meghan Markle, 36, last week stepped out for their first evening engagement together. The couple, who will tie the knot at Windsor Castle on May 19, attended the Endeavour Fund Awards in the City of London. Today the Duke and Duchess of Cornwall, who have stepped up their royal duties, were on hand to officially open the London Power Tunnel project at Seven Sisters Road. Last night the royal couple hosted a glittering Buckingham Palace dinner to celebrate 10 years of the British Asian Trust, 